We have primal strength we don't discover unless our lives depend on it. And our bodies hide something else amazing. The strength to move hundreds of muscles in harmony. The extraordinary thing is where we learn to build this strength. In our sleep. The human body can move with infinite variation. All of it powered by more than 600 muscles. But on its own, any one of those muscles is virtually useless. Everything we do requires many muscles working in perfect harmony. Simply walking involves coordinating 200 muscles. Steering a car, 100. And it takes 70 muscles just to lift a cup of coffee. It's really a very simple mechanism in that we send nervous impulses through the nervous system to the muscles. And if it's all worked together very tightly in a very organized, synchronized pattern, we can perform these skills. Not all muscles have the same number of controlling nerves. The body's biggest muscles, in our legs, take orders from 500 nerves. These muscles have the most pulling power. Yet the real magic is not how we control big muscles, but the small ones. 4,000 nerves control the muscles in our body's most complex and useful instruments, the hands. Each hand has 27 bones, 30 individual muscles, and more than a thousand miles of nerve fibers and blood vessels. Coordinating all this takes a lot of brain work. Merely controlling our hands takes almost half of the part of our brains dedicated to movement. A set of connections between brain cells governs every action. But we aren't born with these connections. We have to learn them. We gain and maintain this strength throughout our lives. Amazingly, we're learning how to unleash this power even while sleeping. Each time a soccer player kicks a ball, his brain records and stores his muscle's strength and timing, making each successive attempt easier. Soon, without thinking, signals fly down to the muscles at more than 4,000 inches per second. And the move becomes automatic. But this training continues off the field and overnight. Coach always tells us to go to like rest, go to sleep early, and everything. Because if we don't sleep, like it'll affect us in our game. Like we don't want to play or anything like that. Sleep brings Marco more than just rest. While Marco sleeps, the skills he's been practicing all day are reinforced as connections are strengthened in his brain. For all of us, the brain's activity while dreaming could be as important in strengthening our skills as what we do while awake. We know that when you go to sleep at night, especially during REM sleep or dreaming sleep, that's when your memories are consolidated. That's when you learn more things. So if you're a soccer player or whatever it is you do athletically, those things will be what you dream about. And the more time you spend on those mentally and sending signals to your body, the better you're going to do basically learning those even as you sleep. On average, we each spend six years of our lives dreaming. And while we dream, we're consolidating control of our muscles. 